That's right, a school resource officer broke up a fight that led to one student being hospitalized and two others charged with attempted murder. Yeah, and our Ben Nandy has been getting some insight on the violence and even some prevention too from a longtime SRO and security expert. He joins us live at the school. And Ben, what is he saying? We had an interesting chat. He says school violence needs to be addressed on two fronts, physical security and relationships. Yonkers police are reviewing surveillance video and cell phone video of a brutal fight involving three teenagers at Yonkers Middle High School. News 12 has also reviewed the cell phone video. We chose not to air it. The fight started at about 8.30 Friday morning in the second floor restroom and ended in the hallway when a school resource officer broke it up. Police say a 16-year-old was stabbed three times and was taken to the hospital. Two 17-year-olds were arrested. The school was on lockdown for 30 minutes. People got arrested. There was another person like screaming like, I'm going to kill you. I heard all that stuff. Like your child has just been stabbed in school where you expect them to be safe. To talk violence prevention, I reached out to Mo Kennedy. He's the executive director of the National Association of School Resource Officers. He says, for starters, a full assessment of the school security protocols might be in order. Yes, we want to make sure that we're trying to have a handle on what's being brought into the school. But there's so many ways that, that challenges are created there. And one of those is through perimeter security issues. He says what's even more important is that SROs and school staff build relationships with students. Not just, hi, hello, how you doing, but real, meaningful relationships. Kennedy tells me strengthening those connections makes it more likely a student will warn staff about a possible upcoming fight. It's really easy to, um, you know, to put the, the whole mantra out there of see something, say something, and it's important. But... It's, it works much better when someone in that environment has a relationship that's good enough that they're comfortable coming to the SRO. Kennedy says genuine outreach to teens can also lift their sense of self-worth and that students with self-worth have healthy friendships and are less violent. Both 17-year-olds are charged with attempted murder and assault. Because they are 17 under New York law, they are classified as youth offenders. That means their initial court appearance is going to be on the youth side of criminal court. The 16-year-old who was stabbed multiple times and hospitalized is expected to recover. Ben Nandy, News 12. All right, Ben, thank you.